everyone and welcome back to another video my name is Yasmin Jade thank you guys so much for keeping up with my channel and for watching my vlog last week I really appreciate it so I said on Instagram and on TikTok if you follow me on there that I was going to do a Q&A video this week um, because I've started gaining a couple more subscribers on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram and TikTok I'm so thankful for you guys but I thought I'd let you get to know me a little bit better so I thought I'd do a Q&A for you today I've gathered the questions and I've got them here on my phone so I'm going to answer them. Um, I'm not going to put people's usernames in this video who asked me the questions because I didn't ask permission beforehand um, so I'm just going to blank out all the usernames but if you know then you'll know that this is your question because I didn't really get that many questions. So I'm going to jump straight into it. If you're a new subscriber please comment that you're a new subscriber in the comments on this video and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. I'm going to start with the first question which is the most asked questions that, that question blah, the most asked question that I ever ever get which is how old are you now, I don't know whether this is a compliment or not and whether I look older or younger or people just can't guess how old I am um, but I'm actually 28 years old for the moment so I'm gonna be 29 on March the 12th which is coming up really soon but for the past year of my life or however so long I've been 28 years old um, so yeah let me know in the comments how old you think thought I was if you didn't know already. The next one which is again one of the most asked questions that I get is are you single? Those of you that know me this is not a difficult one to answer um, because I have been in a long term relationship for over nine years now, super happy and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be single anytime soon, fingers crossed. Yeah I couldn't even imagine being single nowadays, I don't think I'd know how to be single, I think that would be really difficult for me I've never the last time I was single there wasn't dating apps or anything like that so I'd feel so old if I went back into the dating world again I hope that that never happens so yeah I am not single the next one is where are you from originally and I also had somebody ask me what part of the world that I'm from originally um, and I had a couple of questions of this same sort of vibe of where am I from or what's my heritage so most truthfully both my parents are white british english whatever you like to call it caucasian um i was born in england i was born in birmingham born and bred that's where i'm from i think the confusion from my name is probably because it's an arabic name and it's not really common in the uk although i have since met people with the name yasmin in the uk my mum and dad really liked the name and that's why they called me but I was born in England. I don't specifically know like my heritage in terms of my ancestry or like my family tree really I've never figured that out before um, so if you want me to do a video and try to discover like my ancestry my family tree let me know I'd be really interested to know as well. I don't know where like my great great grandparents are from or anything like that um, but I'd be interested to find out. I'm pretty sure it would probably just lead to me being British because I don't know anybody in my family who's not fully like was born in England But I'd be interested to know about to have a sip of my drink. I'm so hot This is Ribena and lemonade. Does anyone else have Ribena and lemonade? It's like really nostalgic for me like I'm a child. I used to drink this all the time in the summer when I was younger Okay, the next one is what is your star sign? I am a Pisces the question on whether I believe in star signs is a little bit different. I'm not sure whether I do believe in star signs, but I still read my horoscope. I don't know how crazy that sounds. I believe in the power of manifestation, and if I read something good in my star sign, then I feel like I'm more likely to put that into practice and make it happen. So I think reading horoscopes can be really beneficial for me and for other people, and I like to have a little bit of hope every week that something good is going to happen to me. I think it's really good to get into that positive mindset. So that's really a good thing about horoscopes and reading them. I just feel as well like I am a Pisces. Again, I know this sounds crazy if you don't believe in horoscopes. But Pisces is a water sign and I feel like I'm such a water baby. I love being in the ocean. I love being near the beach. I feel like I'm going to live by the seaside one day and I'm going to live by the beach and the ocean. I just feel like that's home to me every time I go on holiday I just feel like so homely and yeah I love like being calm is one of the traits of a Pisces which I am being a daydreamer 100% introverted creative like all of the things that people will say are Pisces I am so yeah that could be a massive massive coincidence 
Uh, or it could not be. I don't really know. I suppose kind of leading on from that one is questions about my spirituality. I did have the question, are you Muslim and what is your religion? So I do often get asked whether I'm Muslim and I think that's the same confusion as my name being an Arabic name um, and getting confused in that aspect and I suppose that also brings up the question what is your religion, what is your spirituality? So I'm not Muslim, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really classify myself as Christian which is, it's a really complicated topic because a lot of people around me will know that I am spiritual and that I do pray and listen to gospel and all those sorts of things and I really feel quite safe and at home and comfortable in a church but I would not classify myself as a Christian. I was christened Church of England when I was born and I didn't grow up in like a Christian school or anything. We did sing hymns and do prayers but that was like quite a lot of schools here in England do that. I don't know if they do anymore but they did when I was younger so and I did go to like the church youth group and that sort of thing so I did grow up in like a semi-Christian sort of background I'd say. I've read the bible, I've had religious education and some of the parts of Christianity do resonate with me and some parts don't so I don't think I can call myself a Christian. Um, I don't necessarily believe that there is one all-knowing ever-present God. I do believe in something. I don't know whether you'd call it agnostic. I like to not really label myself in any way in terms of my spirituality, but I am a spiritual person. So I can believe in lots of things at the same time. So I kind of believe in what I call the power of the universe. Um, you know, trusting on God's plan, as some will call it. Um, but I don't necessarily, again, believe in one all-knowing God um, who I worship necessarily. But if you want me to do a longer video on my spirituality and go into more depth, then I definitely will because I think it's not something that I can completely explain here in like a 10 minute video. I think I'd need much longer. Um, my spirituality sort of has evolved throughout my lifetime and it's really depended on all my life experiences and my view on religion and spirituality has changed so much over the years um, from being like a hardcore atheist, you know, believing in Christianity and Noah's Ark when I was like a child and then going from full on atheist, God is terrible, there's no such thing, to becoming a more fluent sort of spiritual agnostic person so yeah if you want me to do a more in-depth video about that then I definitely will sort of my my spiritual lifestyle and, and what I practice then let me know down in the comments as always and I will do it for you. I had a question I had a couple of questions saying are you a model or are you an actress um and I think that's mainly it was people from sort of different countries and I guess they were new followers to my TikTok and my Instagram and wanted to know sort of who I was and where I've come from sort of thing like why are you on the internet all of a sudden making these youtube videos going hard on instagram doing all this stuff um so i'm not an actress or a model don't think anyone would ever employ me as either of those things um that would not be a good decision on their behalf i'm just like a normal girl doing a normal job and had a really big interest in social media and youtube is kind of like a therapy for me is really helpful actually because my therapist cancelled this morning so I'm just kidding if you have serious mental health problems please go to therapy but in reality YouTube is like a therapy for me it's really helped me um I can just talk to people it kind of feels like I am talking to you guys rather than just sitting in my room on my own and it gives me something to do in the daytime and it keeps my mind off things so YouTube is like a therapy for me I absolutely love it. I love engaging with people and talking to people while I'm on my own in my room. I am an introvert, so if I was in a room of lots of people, I'd feel quite intimidated. But the internet is a really safe space for me to share my opinions and have other people's opinions back without it becoming too overwhelming for me. So that's why I've got on YouTube recently. Um, and also I recently, as you may know, lost my job due to my own mental health. So it has been sort of an uplifting and helpful part of my recovery journey as well. So that's why I'm all of a sudden, it seems, on all these social media apps, on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram. The reason is, is just because it's fun and I absolutely love doing it and that it helps me. 
And I also hope that in return it will help other people, people as well eventually who are going through the same things as me, so that's why I'm here. Okay, I have two more questions. Somebody has said on TikTok, I love you by the way, I know exactly who you are, thank you so much. Um, they said, I know you like musicals because you said in your live, but do you sing? So by um, in my live, they're talking about TikTok live. If you don't follow me on TikTok, please go ahead. I go live now and again and I speak to people on there. Not every night, but sometimes I'll do it. Hopefully, like, at least two times a week I'll be on there. As I said in my live, I absolutely love musicals. Broadway, like, West End, everything. Musicals are everything to me. I think my most listened to track on Spotify last year was Hamilton. And then it was, like, Heather's and everybody's talking about Jamie, um, who else? I don't know, all of them, all of the musicals, I love them. Last, do I sing? Do I sing is a different question to can I sing, because <laughs> it would completely depend who you're asking. I personally do not think that I can sing, I'll tell you that right now, if you don't think that I can ever be a professional singer, other people might say my voice is average. I don't think it sounds like, I don't know, a dying cat necessarily, but I don't think it's the most beautiful voice. Um, I have been in choirs in school and in church and I sing to myself all the time at home. But in terms of professionally, do I sing? Absolutely not. In terms of will I sing in front of other people? Absolutely not. Will I perform for other people? Absolutely not. Singing is just something I really enjoy doing and it's nothing that I would ever think is a talent of mine, trust me. Last question is a bit embarrassing for me, it's are you a vegetarian? And I say it's a bit embarrassing for me because I was a vegetarian for a really long time. So I was a vegetarian for about four or five years, this was quite a while ago, maybe two years ago I stopped being vegetarian I think. It wasn't for health reasons, it wasn't for anything like that, it was actually quite easy to be a vegetarian. I just gave up. I just had a little bit too much to drink one time and decided to go to McDonald's and get a box of chicken nuggets. It was a really bad idea because that started my downward spiral into eating meat and I was doing so well before, like I said, four or five years without eating meat, it was so good. So what I'm doing now is trying to limit my amounts of meat that's in my diet. I try not to eat red meat too much. If I do eat meat, it will mainly be fish and chicken because I understand the impact on animals and the environment amongst other things and on my body as well. I felt much better eating a vegetarian diet and I had blood tests when I was a vegetarian and they said that my bloods were absolutely perfect and there's nothing wrong with me. Before being a vegetarian, I suffered with anemia quite badly and a multitude of other things and being a vegetarian almost cured that. I mean, I'm not saying they cured it because I'm not a doctor, but I was in such a healthier place back then and now it is just, it's just gone haywire, honestly. I, I'm terrible. I eat meat and I eat chocolate, but as I say, this year I'm trying to change. We're eating much less meat than we did before and definitely cutting out red meat because it can be really bad for you. As I had the experience of being a vegetarian for four or five years because I learned lots of healthy vegetarian recipes that I can share with people and that I can cook for myself now and it really made me understand the impact of meat in my diet to the point that now I eat much less meat than I was eating before. I we eat hardly any processed foods you know, hot dogs, sausages, bacon, ham, all that sort of stuff I eat hardly any of, whereas before I would probably have like a ham sandwich every single day. I've just cut that straight out of my diet. So I'm really thankful that I did that and realised that I could do it because it was actually so much easier than I thought. Yeah, I am no longer a vegetarian. I'm ashamed. I'm so sorry. Honestly, I am. I shout out to all the vegetarians and vegans out there that do it and are still doing it because you guys are much better than me. I'm sacrificing chicken nuggets for the greater cause, which is something that I didn't do at the time and I apologise. In the grand scheme of things, meat reduction and being a flexitarian is a much healthier option than just full on eating meat every day. So I'm quite proud of myself for doing that. If you want to do that too, I really suggest it because it's really good for your health as well as the animals and the environment. At least having a meat free Monday or maybe not eating meat during the week and then having weekends where you eat meat. 
anything like that can be really helpful to your diet and to your general health and fitness so I really recommend it. Okay guys, that is the video and I'm so thankful for you asking questions. I didn't think I'd get any so the fact that I got those questions I'm really thankful for. Again, if you are a new subscriber, please say that you've subscribed and I'll reply to you straight away. Give me your opinions on this video and tell me what videos you want me to do in the future. I really appreciate you guys. And if you have made it this far in the video, then you are a true subscriber. Thank you so much. If you've made it this far, please hit the like button so I know that you've made it this far. Now that you've listened to all the questions that have been asked to me, I want you to answer some of the same questions in the comments below and I'll read them and we'll have a conversation down there in the comments. Thanks so much for watching guys, as always, God bless, I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you soon again for another video. Bye!